Oh, you went to the exam then, no. I didn't want to be the no-no. <laughs> 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 on video. Well, actually. That's why, that's going to confuse you because I have a way, I, I've got a way I do things. If I miss, just pick the ones that I do, okay? Okay. And do I, do I say it should if the... Yeah, if I miss one, just say Brian, you just you miss one. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are we about to start? Yeah. Okay. Disclaimer again. Um, different therapists will palpate different ways, okay? This is the way I do it, this is the way I've showed you guys. Um, for the practical, you need to know all your bony points, so get them from your booklets and your anatomy books, okay? I'm just going to go through some of the, well, the uh, anatomy palpation points. Okay, so first one is iliac crest. I'll generally get them bilaterally, so both sides at the same time. Right and left, top of the ilium, okay? Next point down is your ASIS, two uh, prominent bits at the front. AIIS would be two to three fingers breadth below this point. That would be the I, oh, sorry, the AIIS. If you spin around for me. Now, we're going to look for the PSIS now. And generally you'll see two dimples in somebody's back. That will give you a clear indication of where they are. In field two. Nodules underneath your thumbs. Okay, that's the PSIS. Um, what's next, Pat? Ischial shoe brassie. Ischial shoe I'm get you just to pop up onto your front. Ischial shoe brassie, important. This is where your hamstrings come from. And you're looking above the gluteal crease. And in deep underneath your glute max, you feel your ischial shoe brassie. Okay? If you lie onto your side, we'll do a greater truck handle next. So just flip onto the little bit. Greater truck is. Nice hard bony prominence, the other side of the hip. Okay. And what's next, Pat? Uh, lateral femoral contact. Lateral femoral contact, just onto your back. Just Actually, we'll get you sitting off, Jim. <coughs> so, we're going to do the femoral epicondyles first. So, what I like to do is bring my thumbs up above the knee crease. First two bony prominences at your hip are going to be the femoral epicondyles, medial and lateral on this side. If you bring your thumbs in either side of the patella on the same level, you'll feel two almost curved bones. That's the, then going to be your femoral condyles. If you dip down, you feel soft tissue. You're into the anterior knee joint line. Come down again, two bony prominences, and you're on to the tibial condyles. Okay? <coughs> and on your patella, you have the base, which is the superior surface and the apex, which is the inferior surface. Uh, at the bottom of the patella tendon, you have the tibial tuberosity, which is the nice bony prominence on the front of the tibia. All right, what's next to that, Pat? Uh, head and apex of the tibia. Head and apex of the tibia. I've actually I've missed one as well, um, the adductor tubercle. The adductor tubercle is on, the, um, on top of the medial epicondyle of the femur. So again, bring your Thumb down, first bony prominence you hit, you're on to the epicondyle of the femur. Bring your thumb up and over, and you're on to the adductor tubercle. Okay. Next is fibula, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so fibular head. Fibula is this bone, runs on the outside of the lower limb. And this is the lateral malleolus down here. If you track that up, you feel the body of the fibula up into the head. Okay? And that is your head there. Your apex runs over the top of that. Medial malleolus. Okay, medial malleolus. We said this is the lateral. Obviously, then, and looking at the other side of the ankle is going to be the medial malleolus. Okay. Head of the talus. Head of the talus. Okay. So the talus is uh, this bone that sits deep into the ankle joint. Okay, or other, otherwise known as the talocrural joint. So what you do is, you feel into the joint line, bring the foot into plantar flexion, you'll feel the tail of head pop towards your thumb. Okay? What's that? Okay. Just sit back, Jim. So I'm just going to go through all the points in the foot. So just, just flip over for me, onto your back. So the way I do the foot, I do it in a systematic way. Um, so we just showed you the tailors. We'll just do that again. So just come around this one. So again, I'll find the anterior talocrural joint line. So you're looking for a dip. 
bring the foot forward, your tail or head will pop in towards your thumb, okay? Navicular is down from the tail, so you feel the bridge of the navicular in front, okay? The cuboid is at the bottom of the fifth metatarsal, so if you feel down the edge of the fifth metatarsal um, and upwards, you're then onto your cuboid. Your cuboid will be in line with your fourth and fifth metatarsal. Okay. You then have three cuneiforms that um, comprise the top of the foot. So if, if in line with the cuboid, move up in relation to the third, you want to the third cuneiform, second cuneiform, first cuneiform. Okay. You then have your calcaneus, which is your heel bone at the back. Do you flip over for me? You also have your uh, calcaneal tuberosity, which is where the Achilles will attach into, is just here. Um, and flip over, flip over again for me, Jim. We're going to do two bony prominences, it's called the perineal tubercle, which is on the lateral aspect, just below the lateral malleolus. You feel a bony prominence in your thumb, it's just there. And the suspenticulum talli, if we show on this foot, if you come down from the medial malleolus, um, you will feel bone underneath your thumb. When you feel soft tissue, just move back up slightly and you're onto the system taking them tight. That can sometimes be a little bit tender on people. Okay, have you missed anything? Sesamoid bones. bones. Just flip over for me, Jim. Okay, sesamoid bones on the base of the um, first metatarsal head. That's those there. Okay. All right. DID, uh, Okay, yeah, I forgot about those. So, these are your metatarsals, number one, two, three, four, and five. You have bases, shafts, and heads, okay? These are your heads. You then have um, proximal interphalangeal joints. Sorry, I should say first, you have metatarsal phalangeal joints, which are these here, okay? Metatarsal phalangeal joints, or MTP joints. Next ones you have are um, peripheral, sorry, um, proximal interphalangeal joints, which are these ones. And then you have distal interphalangeal joints. Okay? On the big toe, you have a metatarsal and a distal. Okay? Okay, we're going to do some ligaments now. So, ATFL. You've got three ligaments on the lateral aspect of the ankle, and they form almost like a T-shape. So the ATFL will run this direction, CFL will run this direction, PTFL runs posteriorly behind the lateral malleolus. ATFL, you can palpate it across the way, so transversely in that position. CFL in that position there, and PTFL in behind. Deltoid ligament comprises four different ligaments. And it's on the medial aspect of the foot and it's quite an expansive ligament um, comprised underneath the medial malleolus. Will you have a look at the three ligaments? Just uh, sit back for me, Gemma. Okay. <clears throat> so what do we have? We have MCL, LCL, coronary and meniscus. Okay, all right. So we'll do the menisci and coronaries first. Again, Gary, do you want to come around this one? So find our femoral epicondyles into our femoral condyles. As you move down, you feel soft tissue. You're into the anterior joint line. That's where your menisci are going to sit. So that's going to be your medial meniscus. And on the other side is going to be your lateral meniscus. The coronary ligaments will anchor down just onto the bony prominence below that. That's your coronary ligaments. That's also your tibial plateau. Okay? MCL will come from the um, medial epicondyle of the femur to the medial condyle of the tibia. Between these two points, you can feel it transversely just there. And if you just come around, Gary, we will show the LCL or lateral collateral ligament of the knee um, comes from the lateral epicondyle of the femur into the fibular head, which is just there. Again, we're going to palpate it transversely 